Patriotic Party scheduled its parliamentary primaries in areas it has certain members of parliament for April 25 this year. However, it had to be suspended over the anti-COVID-19 restrictions imposed by the president on some political activities. Following the announcement by the president on Sunday to ease some of these restrictions, the Ghana News Agency engaged Mr. Yaobo Bin Asamoa, the National Communication Director of the party, on the way forward and some electoral activities towards the conduct of the 2020 general election. We filed nominations and then COVID stopped us from having a primary which would have been on, on April the 25th. It is a necessary requirement. So we are organizing ourselves within the context of the restrictions. Uh, because the restrictions are important, uh, the only way to beat COVID is through self-discipline. So all of us must discipline ourselves within the context of the restrictions and still carry on our lives. And for us as a political party, an important part of carrying on is conducting the primary. So I want to assure the party members as well as sympathizers and those who are happy with the way the party in government is directing affairs, that we are poised to have a proper primary within the restrictions. So the primary will happen. Commenting on the Electoral Commission's decision to compel new voters to register, Mr. Bobin Asamoa said the NPP would back the Commission's mission to deliver a credible, free and fair election. The NPP has always believed that it was important that we edit and reorganize the 2012 Electoral Register of Ghana because we believe that from day one it's been bloated. Fortunately, technology now is better than technology then in 2012. So we expect them, in spite of the restrictions, to be able to deliver a good job. So we believe that the MPP offers good politics. And the only way the MPP can continue to offer good politics is if we register to vote and keep the MPP in power. If we don't register, the danger is that we may not be able to preserve the democratic way of life that we have. Because our constitution does not provide us with any fail-safe mechanisms in the event we don't register. So we are urging all Ghanaians that go out there and register. In going to register, protect yourself. On the concerns raised by civil society organizations and some political parties against the compilation of a new register, he said the expression of divergent opinions were good for the nation's democracy and should be welcomed. That's the beauty of democracy, that everybody has an opinion and that those opinions are respected. But dissent must also come to a point where it gives way to decision. Somebody must take the decision. EC has taken the decision. So upon taking the decision, dissent must flow. The cost of reviving the so-called old register could be very high. It has to have imported equipment which needs to be refurbished. So the cost is also there, inbuilt in the old one. In terms of time, where we are, anything about importation and equipment means that you have to wait. Order and wait. Do we have time to order and wait, bring that in, refurbish the old one before we have the election? So considering that the new material has already been imported, new equipment has already been imported, and it's here with us, then what's the point in going back? It is best we do what we have and do it quickly in our all interests. For more videos and news, log on to www.gna.org.gh and subscribe to the GNA social media handles below. Facebook, Ghana News Agency. Twitter, at Ghana News Agency. Instagram, Ghana News Agency 1957. And YouTube, GNA TV.